it going YouTube? It's Ruxin Comics here, and today I'm bringing you guys my deck profile for Clifford. I took this to my local Hastings uh, Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, and it went without saying. I'm really happy with uh, how it worked out. I took fourth place uh, at this weekend's locals, losing out to Black Wings in a very funny situation. I'll explain it later once I get it into the deck. Um, so, yeah, uh, pretty uh, standard build. Almost. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be honest. The deck is half-assed. Um, <laughs> we didn't ho we didn't have the sneak peek this weekend, so I don't have the new support from Secrets of Eternity. So I didn't get anything like Monolith or Cephalopod. But you know what? W fourth place, I will take that. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the deck. So starting off, of course, with the three Clifford Scout. You gotta play three of this, no matter what. It is the searcher for everything in the deck, and it just goes without saying, and I'm very happy that I was able to pick up the third copy. So you really, really need to pick this up, and I feel like Cliff Force are still going to be the strongest deck, even though we're getting even more and more support for Shadal's Burning Abyss and uh, Satellar Knights as well, but I think Cliff Force are still going to reign over all. So next up, three copies of Cliff Fort Carrier. Of course, everybody should know by now that this is the card that returns monsters to the hand whenever this thing is tributed, and it's really nice. Um, the new one, which is uh, Stealth, it, it basically does the same thing as Carrier, except your opponent can't activate or chain in response to Stealth's uh, effect, which I think is really good. The, uh, this deck is definitely going to go under some uh, editing once I get the support from Secrets of Fraternity, and hopefully it won't be that cheap. Or, not cheap, it won't be that expensive. Oh, it's been a long day. That tournament was crazy. Uh, two Helix. Um, I didn't really ever feel the need that I uh, had to pop much back row. I almost didn't have any uh, Speller Traps I had to pop when this thing was tributed. I mean, even when I did, the, the back row that uh, any anyone that I faced, they were totally useless in the situation, though. So, um, Helix wasn't that... Impressive today. Uh, two shell, which are going to be cut once uh, cephalopod becomes a thing in the deck. Uh, again, I just use this for um, tribute bait. Two copies of Clifford Disc. Honestly, this this one can be at two or two or three. Like I prefer to play two because I don't want to I don't want to waste any more money getting a third copy. Um, but the two disc did their job. I got I got his effect off once, where I was able to bring out uh, more Cliff Force from the deck. Once I was able to get it off, and that one time it was against the Black Wings. And that is where this little situation actually comes into effect. Um, okay, so it was game three, and I was about to go into Pendulum... I was I, I succeeded in a Pendulum Summon, and I was just about to go into Oppa Cliff Fort, uh Towers. But then Black Wings ended up... <laughs> the, he ended up cease-firing me, and... I was down to my last 1800, and I there were four monsters on on board. Both on there were three. I had three monsters on my side, and then he had one monster. I don't remember what it was. I'm pretty sure it was like a Shura or something. But he went uh, he went in for game and took second place. So honestly, I I had no problem with that, which has kind of given me an excuse to say I want to tech in to ceasefire. Uh, in the side deck. I don't remember if it came off the ban list, uh, this format, so I don't know if it's at 3 or if it's still at 2, but if it if it, if it it is, I'd love to pick up a playset. And finally, the one that everybody disagrees with, three copies of Oppa Cliff War Towers. This is the god card of the deck, and but honestly, I can understand why people are continuing to cut this thing out. It was a dead draw for me a couple of times, um, and it's almost uh, impossible to get out unless you have the right pendulum scale set. Um, I plan on just playing one copy once uh, I get the Secrets of Eternity uh, support again. So, Towers, he put in a lot of work, but not as much as everybody else. Uh, next, three copies of Performapal Trampolinix. I played three of this because I didn't have three copies of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. And Trampolinix, I think, did the most work with Clifford Scout. Odd Eyes, not enough. If I had a third copy, I probably would have been able to put in more work with Odd Eyes. So, yeah. So, I can see why people aren't 
putting Odd Eyes in the main deck anymore and just sticking to Trampolinix because this really this this sets up an OTK very nicely. And then finally, I played three hand traps in the form of two Max C and a Swiss Scarecrow. I played the Swiss Scarecrow just in case I ever did come up into an OTK, which I never did, and I never really drew into Swiss Scarecrow when it was necessary. And the only time that I ever played Max C was against Black Wings. And uh, actually, no, it wasn't. I also played against uh, Heretics, but that was uh, that was uh, off to the side when it wasn't a part of uh, my regular matches. And I drew like crazy against them. So yeah, Max C is okay, but he's still just a cider. I got to pick up a third copy now that I bring it up. Uh, that's it for the monsters. For the spells, one Summoner's Art. I regret only having one, but I couldn't trade for one in time. No one had one, so. Yeah, I got I got Summoner's Art enough times anyway, so that was it was good, it was good. Uh, one copy of Pot of Duality. Look at that, it's German. I was able to trade for a German one. I'm so happy about it. It looks lovely. Uh, I still think Duality is decent in, as a searcher for Cliff Wars because you don't special summon with them all the time, but it did enough work. I think it did enough work. And next up, three sacrifice. In my original build, I was only playing two of this, but I see now that you need three of this. This thing is absolutely fantastic. It just goes without saying. Its effect is too good. So, three sacrifice. Um, I also, I didn't have Snatch Steel on, on hand. No one had one for trade. Again, that's another thing that I need to pick up. So, Snatch Steel is a must. I need to pick that up next. Uh, three... Chalice, all mixed matched roading and sets. Um, Chalice, I don't think put in enough work. I didn't draw it too often, but when I did, it wasn't that bad. It really, again, just like the majority of this deck, the timing was, let's say, moderate. That's it for the spells. For the traps, one bottomless, one vanities. I honestly, I wish. So much I had a second copy because this would have this would have helped against so many other decks. But out of my matches, I didn't come up against anything that uh, special summon like crazy. So uh, Vanities is, was kind of math for me this weekend. But I feel next time I uh, go around, you def uh, I'm definitely going to need uh, the second Vanities. I'm uh, and I know a lot of you guys are probably going to argue that I need three. Um, I'm saving up enough money so I can get enough support from the Secrets of Eternity. If I have any left over, I'm for sure going to pick up a third copy. Uh, two, Breakthrough Skill. Just another out for uh, if I didn't have my two Skill Drain. I'm waiting on a third to come in through the mail. But you can't have enough cards in the deck that don't negate effects. And these four and Chalice, which makes seven basically, um, it was... It's enough. It's definitely enough. And then finally, uh, three dimensional prison, which honestly didn't see any play. Like I set one, I set one, but it ended up getting MST by Black Wings. So Black Wings were my worst matchup this entire weekend. So they, uh, it was horrible at the end. And then the, the only thing I actually played in the extra deck was Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon. I don't feel like an extra deck is too necessary in Cliff Force just because of the fact that you have the I think you have the pendulum scale set too often and you can't special summon from the extra deck that often. So you really don't need an extra deck necessarily for Cliff Force, but in mo in more and more decks that I'm starting to see it's becoming more consistent to have a full extra deck. I mean, another reason why I would play an extra deck just in general is to to is is uh, for turn one. If my opponent's going first, which usually I hope for, um, they think, oh, you're playing Burning Abyss. Oh no, you're playing Shadal, So tell our knights because I think they have uh, they have stacked extra decks and Cliff Forts, They usually don't, but mine didn't this weekend. So it wasn't that big of a worry. I think everybody knew I was playing Cliff Forts by this point, so I wasn't too I wasn't too shocked. Anyway, that wraps up uh, the deck profile for Cliff Force. Thank you guys so much for watching. I plan to bring you guys a full uh, deck profile once um, I get all the re uh, all the rest of the cards in from some trading that I'm doing, as well as cards uh, 
that I just need in general. So thank you guys for watching. Barks and Comics, signing out.